Today we're doing an oil change on this Mark V Jetta. This is a 2008 with the 2.5 liter engine. We have the car up on ramps, so we'll start by jumping under it and taking off the skid plate. There's going to be a number of T25 bolts under there to undo. To take that off, and then we'll be able to access the oil drain plug as well as the filter housing. We're under the driver's side of the car here, and you'll be able to see where we'll have to undo these T25s around the skid plate here. Uh, as you can see, we're missing one on this side. There will be a couple coming across the front of the car and then along the passenger side as well here. So we'll pop those off. Uh, oil drain plug is going to be right there. We just need to get the skid plate off so that we can get to the oil filter housing. Once we have all of the T25s out, this bottom skid plate will slide toward the back of the car and come down. Coming from the front of the car, we'll be able to see the oil filter housing right here. First, uh, before we loosen that, we'll have to take out the oil drain plug here. So we'll get a wrench on that and we'll pull that off. The oil drain plug is going to be a 19 millimeter. Get a wrench on there and twist this off. Before loosening up the oil filter housing, there's actually a little thing right here that you can unscrew to drain the oil out of there. So we'll unscrew that here. Once we have this little cap unscrewed, then we can push up on this little center piece here and you just push straight up there and that will drain the oil out. If you actually push up on this and then over, you can actually get it to catch in there so that it stays so you don't have to keep your hand pushed up against it the whole time. If you can see in there, just go up and then push it forward. For the oil filter housing, you can try to get a strap wrench on there and get it off. I went on Amazon and picked up this oil filter wrench kit. And this one right here, it's like 75.6 millimeters. And then it has uh, like 14 teeth on here, which is the same as the oil filter housing on the car. So that fits perfectly on there. and We'll be able to twist it right off. I got the oil filter wrench on here and broke it loose and it just twists right off. I definitely recommend getting one of these uh, wrenches here. If you try to do this with a strap wrench, you're gonna struggle um, quite a bit to get this thing off. So once we have it loose, this will drop right down. We have the filter there. Since we drained all the oil, there shouldn't be much in here. So the oil filter out, we'll just pop this out and drain out the excess oil. There's a rubber gasket in the oil filter housing. So we just get a pair of needle nose pliers. There's a little tab sticking up and pull that right out. And you'll want to replace this. It'll come in the oil filter package. This is a man oil filter. The part number is HU719 slash 6X. You can get that online. I'll put a link for that as well. This actually comes with two gaskets here. You only need one of them. Before putting the gasket in, you want to put some oil on it just to lubricate it. I'm just taking some of the oil out of the old or out of the filter housing here. And this will seat right down in here 
with that little tab here pointing up so that you'll be able to get it out when you do your next oil change. You just want to push in here to make sure that it's seated properly, just like that. We'll take our new filter and just pop it right in here. And then we'll be ready to reinstall this underneath the car. We're back under the car. We're just gonna put the new filter right up into the housing here. The torque specs on this are gonna be about 18 foot pounds. So get a torque wrench on there just to do the finishing tighten on it. We can pull our cup wrench off of here. And we'll tighten this back up. Make sure that that pin is back, that little push thing is back in the center. And just tighten this in until it's snug. a new oil drain plug here you want to replace this every time the threads on it are malleable and there's a crush washer on there that's actually built in to the the plug you can't get it past the threads there these are really cheap they're like two dollars you might even be able to find them cheaper online but with shipping it's kind of not worth it I actually just called the Volkswagen dealership in town here I'm in Phoenix um, and Camelback Volkswagen I called them they said they had plenty of them and they just gave it to me for free so can't beat that price the torque spec for the oil drain plug is going to be 22 foot pounds, so we'll get under the car and tighten this up. We'll replace the oil drain plug here. We'll just start this threaded in by hand, and then the torque spec on it is going to be 22 foot pounds. So we'll get the torque wrench on it after we have it set in here. So we have this tightened down to 22 foot-pounds and now we're ready to start filling it with oil. We'll unscrew the oil filler cap here. This is the 2.5 liter engine so it's going to take six liters of oil which is about 6.3 quarts. I just got two of the five quart jugs here. It's going to be 5W40. You want to make sure but it's the Volkswagen recommended here. If you turn it around to the back, the approved specifications, you have VW50200 slash 50500. You wanna see that there, that's just the recommended oil that they use. This is a full synthetic pastoral edge here. Just a quick tip, if you're going to be using two of the five quart jugs, if you pour the first one in there completely, you know that's five quarts. And then what I do is I open up the second one and then I just pour it into the empty first container. And there's this nice thing on the side here, quartz on the left side. So we're looking for another 1.3. Obviously do this on level ground and then you can just pour it in, measure it out so that you're not guessing as you're pouring it into the engine. So we'll pour the remaining about 1.3 quarts in here. We have it all filled up here, so we'll get the oil cap back on. Then we'll get it off the ramps, and get it level, and then we'll check the oil level here. Slide our rock guard little skid plate back in here. Pushes into the front. There's a couple little tabs here that lock into place right at the front and then we'll screw in the T25s all the way around here. These T25s here, there should be 10 of them. We're missing two here, so we'll only have eight to tighten. Let's pull this off the ramps and then check the oil level. So let's check the oil level now that we have the car off the ramps and we ran the engine for a little bit. And we look good there.
perfect. The last thing we want to do is reset the oil life light. So to do that, we have the ignition off right now. We're gonna press and hold this 0.0, .0 button right here. Turn the ignition to on, but we're not going to start the car. Then we will release that 00, zero button. And then we just press the minute button here. And you see that will reset the oil life light. 